All right, welcome to the CCD FX425 camcorder, the second one the customer sent in to me to be looked at. Let's power the unit on. You can see the monitor does light up. I don't have it in slow shutter, so it doesn't look really super good right now, but it is actually displaying a picture. There it is, we get a display, it shows zero. So the door's open right now. Let me close the door and see what happens. And look at all the noise in the monitor. But take a look at this, or listen, I should say, as I close the door, I'm going to put the microphone right up inside here. And then the door opens back up. So let's go ahead and tear this one apart and see what it looks like inside. Let's get a zoomed in view on this thing. You'll notice I actually pulled the CCD imager off of the lens. Let me show you what I found. Maybe you can see it right there. Take a look at those capacitors. Oh, those are nasty. Look at that. Look at all the corrosion on that thing. Man, once again, I don't know if this board can actually be saved or not. Look at the back side of it here. I do see a little electrolyte leaking through right there. I don't see really any corrosion on the back side of this board to speak of. Other than that, it's going to need to have a bath nonetheless. But definitely those two capacitors right there have been leaking on the board. Going to cause problems. I'm not even going to ESR these things. I know that they're just bad. There is the CCD imager. That is what actually picks up the picture. That cap doesn't look too terribly bad. That one doesn't look too terribly bad. Let's go ahead and look at the main board as well as the chroma processing board. Okay, so here is the main, the main board. Look at all the corrosion on that cap right there. The one next to it looks exactly the same. They've been leaking on the circuit board. That one doesn't look too terribly bad. Then up here we've got a few more. That one looks pretty doggone good. Maybe a little tiny bit on the left hand lead there. Those don't look absolutely terrible. That one seems to be holding it together pretty well. Based on the color of that lead, that one is definitely leaking and you see the green all the way around it. Definitely leaking electrolyte. That one doesn't look too terribly bad. Still to do a thorough job I want to go ahead and replace them. Look at that 10 at 16, the upper lead. Definitely got some corrosion on it right there. It's been leaking electrolyte. So yeah, this board would definitely need a bath to get it back up to snuff. And once again, like on the CCD FX620, I don't know if there's damage on the middle of the circuit board. You can actually see the traces that run in between the layers right there. So I don't know if there's been any damage to those because of these capacitors that have been leaking all over the place. But let's go ahead and take a peek at the main processing board, the Chroma and Luma processing and see what it looks like. So right off the bat, I don't see really any problems with these capacitors in this neighborhood. They all look pretty good. But once again, I'm sure they have been leaking. I'm sure that one's leaking. The leads are wet and green around there. That one uh, 
The 0.68 at 50, you can certainly tell that thing has been wet. Yeah, just, just based on what I've seen on this board, they need to be replaced. Just because a couple of them have leaked, and that's not going to be good for the health of the circuit board in the long run whatsoever. You can certainly see some moisture down here. On that 10 at 16, right in the center of your screen, the bottom capacitor has got moisture all over the board right there. Look at that capacitor right in the center of your screen. It's very much corroded and I'm sure that leaked through from the other side of the board. There's actually a puddle on there. Let me get a little screwdriver and try to touch it and just see if it moves. Oh yeah, look at that. That is all capacitor electrolyte leaking all over that capacitor right there. That little ceramic cap's probably okay, but as much moisture as there is on this board, it's going to need to be washed completely. So just in case you thought it was flux on the board, no, it is definitely not flux on the board. And I'd have to say most of it came from this capacitor right here, this 3.3. I did touch it with the top of the screwdriver. You can see I left a little green droplet on the top of it right there. But to be safe, once again, every cap on this board needs to be changed. Let me show you what I can see through the switch mode power supply. Right off the bat, that 33 at 10, definitely leaking. Look at the color of that solder connection right there. Much darker than it should be. Can't really see the other side too much, but let me see if I can get zoomed in down here on the other side. Really hard to see down in here, but both of those little capacitors, they're probably 10s, are definitely leaking onto the circuit board right there. Look at the color of that solder connection, very much green, and you can see electrolyte all over the bottom of these caps. Can't really see much else without taking the cover off, but uh, once again, this is just a preliminary estimate on this Sony CCD FX425 camcorder, just to see if it's gonna be worth saving, and I don't think it's going to be worth saving. Well, as on the CCD FX620, I'll go ahead and get an estimate ready on this 425 camcorder for this customer to replace every single capacitor on all of these boards as well as wash the electrolyte off the boards and we'll see what the customer wants to do. Thank you for watching this diagnostic video on the CCD FX 425. I really do appreciate it. Go ahead and leave me a question, a comment, a concern down below, good or bad. I try to respond to the comments when I have time. While you're down there, hit that subscribe button and like this video. It really does help my channel grow. You can follow me on social media, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter at NorCal715. You can email me NorCal715videos at gmail.com. That is the best way to contact me. Just be patient. I do have a full-time job and do this in my spare time. Remember, with your help, we can try to keep these things out of the landfill, out of the recycle bin, and out of the e-waste facility. Everybody, thank you for making it to the end of this diagnostic video. I really do appreciate it. Everyone have a great day. Once again, thank you so much for watching. Stay tuned for bonus material, reassembly, time lapse. Once again, thank you for watching. Bye-bye.